Zion has been always told, you're going to be the best. You're going to be the best. Is he a natural? He could have been one that God said, I'm going to, I'm going to bless this kid here. I was shocked, kid. I was like, whoa, whoa, this is boy. Having coached so many players that have made it to the league, Zion is the best basketball player I've ever coached. I'm going to embarrass you. It's, it's just like that. If you're in front of me, I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to kill you that night. Well, I, I think the dream started when he was four. At first, I thought the final step for basketball players was like college basketball. I told my stepdad, um, when I get older, I want to go to college for basketball because I thought that was the NBA. I started thinking about making the NBA once I got to the age, let me see, eight or nine. I think with Zion, uh, you know, his stepdad and I were, we were college athletes, so we knew like the hard work it took to get there. I actually played three years for Bill Foster at Clemson. I was two weeks from going to an NBA camp. But I got hit by a car. And I actually questioned God, you know, little me, questioning big old God about, you know, why'd you allow this to happen? And all he said to me uh, prior to them putting me in the ambulance was, it wasn't for you at this time, but I'll bless you through your children. I'll bless you through your children. When he got to seventh and eighth grade, Zion was about 5'11", probably about 120 pounds. He was taught at that time because of his size, the point guard skills. Before that summer was over, Zion was 6'4". Before the summer was over. He looked at me and said, by your junior senior year, you will be the number one player in the country. Okay, like, come on, man, let's be a little realistic, like, come back to reality you now. Like, I'm not even ranked yet, and I'm on nobody's radar. Three, four. That growth spurt was just crazy for me because I picked up some weight and some crazy athletic, God-given athleticism. My confidence grew, and greater confidence led to me trying dunks that I've never tried before in game. Those dunks and me scoring like 40, 50 points escalated my hype. He's so smooth with his ball handling, man. The next thing you know, he's at the rim and he's finishing with such power that he shots the soul. I mean, he wasn't lying. Like, I followed his lead. I trusted everything he said. And, like, I'm I'm the number one player. I just pat myself on the back and say, hey, you know, you know but ah, nah, I can't do that. Jim sold out. People trying to rush in. Like, I'm serious. Somebody had to pay like $150 just to come watch a high school game. The Larry Johnsons, the LeBron James, the Charles Barkley. Um, you know, every time Zion goes to play, there's somebody different. He tells them, I'm just trying to be the best Zion that I can be. Woo. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Me and Noah, uh, Noah's my little brother. I'm always look out for him. Go outside on that little goal I have. Play basketball with each other. No, say no backboards. I'm just, I'm always chilling with Noah. No Noah has like this cool vibe to him. Like when you're around Noah, how, how can you not smile or like laugh? Cause Noah just has that swag about him. I, I, I love it cause I say, yeah, that's my little brother. What's up, bro? <laughs> That's just who he is. It doesn't change from home or out there. Never forget who you are. Always remember like who helped you and the community that supported you.
you know, as you grow up and you achieve the success and the notoriety and the finances that comes along with it, make sure you remember that you were in the place of these kids. My number one thing is to don't forget the kids. Right? No, in Hollywood, only just now. <laughs> Hey, Noah, Noah, when you watch this when you're older, you went Hollywood on me just now. Never change up on people. Never think you're above anybody. A lot of stuff comes with the hype. Uh, Responsibilities. Um, expect, I'm going to say expectations is the biggest thing. Like, I read all the articles that say, well, I'm going to be an average player. Well, I'm going to be a bust. Whatever weakness they think they see in my game, I'm just in the gym working on it. Zion's worked hard, very hard for a very long time. He just didn't fall off that truck in ninth grade and say, oh, God, you're so great. No. He's constantly trying to hone his craft. The bigger the stage, the bigger Zion plays. So pressure, he, don't, he doesn't know what pressure is. Of course, I'm doing this for myself because it's my dream, but I'm also doing this for my family. Yeah, but the best is yet to come. Trust me, I'm telling you, you heard it first. The best is yet to come. <laughs>